all right let's look at the acid base buffer and the general idea on the acid and base reaction now generally we are taught that we have two types of acids one of the acids is a weak acid and the other one is a strong acid now the discrepancy or the differences between the weak acid and the strong acid is that the strong acid dissociates completely in water why the weak acid dissociate par uh, partially in water or it does not dissociate completely in aqueous solution now what does that mean it means for instance you have something like acetic acid acetic acid is a weak acid right this is a weak acid now because acetic acid is a weak acid it means it will dissociate partially in water or in aqueous solution. Now, what you are going to have, if you want to write the equation of dissociation, to be something like this, dissociating in water, sometimes you may decide to put the water, but most times you may decide to neglect the water. And then you have coming here, going there, to form CH3COO negative plus H positive. Now, what this means is that the dissociated ions are in equilibrium or in dynamic equilibrium with the undissociated molecule now what that means is if you have let's say this is a rubber containing or beaker containing acetic acid right now what this means is this acetic acid cannot actually dissociate to form the acetate ion and the hydroxy ion so we can actually form you see the first one i put there was what acetic acid it forms the hydrogen ion and the word uh, acetate ion now what that means is that the rate at which this uh, acetic acid which is the whole molecule is dissociating is equal to the rate at which this and this is being formed is that okay the rate at which this is dissociating is equal to the rate to which this and this is what be formed. So you say they are in what? Dynamic equilibrium. When you say that a reaction is at equilibrium, it means the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the what? Backward reaction. That means the rate at which this one is converted to this is equal to the rate at which this one is what? Converted back to this. Now, the most important thing you should just know is that whenever we have weak acid dissociating, the undissociated molecules, which are these, this one is undissociated, is in dynamic equilibrium with the dissociated ions, right? That means the rate at which this one is dissociating is equal um, to the rate at which this one is what forming the undissociated substances back, all right? So that is why we say they are in dynamic equilibrium. And then we can calculate their equilibrium constant. The equilibrium constant or dissociated constant is given as Ka. And we know that Ka is mostly the concentration of the species in the product, right? Divided by the concentration of the species in the reactant side, right? Now, in equilibrium, things like pure liquid or in equilibrium constant things like pure liquid or pure solids do not surface in the equilibrium constant expression pure liquid or pure solid do not surface in the equilibrium constant expression for instance i told you that this thing normally is supposed to contain water because you're actually dissolving this in water to form this right but most times water is pure it's a pure liquid it does not change the only thing we are actually talking about in equilibrium is things that changes with time like things that have concentration that changes with time the concentration of water does not change it remains like that is that okay so it does not surface also pure solids do not surface in the equilibrium constant expression so this is how to write the equilibrium constant uh expression right which i said is the concentration the ratio of the concentration of the products all over the ratio of the concentration of the reactants is that okay now let's solve this particular question that we have here the question says uh estimate the addition of okay not this one 
there is a one question that we need to solve first. Okay, the question says, calculate the pH of 0.1 molar acetic acid. The dissociation constant of acetic acid is given to be 1 times 10 raised to the power of minus 5. That is the dissociation constant for what? Acetic acid that was given. Alright? So, this will be 1 ton constant for acetic acid is 1.8. Alright, times 10 raised to the power of minus 5. So, what is the dissociation constant we are talking about? Normally, acetic acid dissociates. You have something like this. According to what you might have been taught in class, negatively charged plus what? H plus minus. To calculate the dissociation constant, Ka, it will be the concentration of what we have at the product, which is this. Alright, divided by the concentration of what we have at the what at the reactant now but you must be very careful now when as acetic acid dissociates let me bring this thing down so that i will illustrate something for you briefly now when acetic acid dissociates there's something that happens now recall that the amount of acetic acid given was 0.1 molar how many molar solution 0.1 molar acetic acid so you come here I write 0.1 molar acetic acid. Now, initially, when the reaction starts, when the reaction starts, initially, this one has not be formed, right? Let's say you have acetic acid. At the point where the reaction started, the amount of this acetate ion is zero and the concentration of this hydrogen ion is zero. Why? Because at that point, the reaction just started. Are you getting it? At the initial step, the reaction just started. It means none of this one has been formed none of this one has been what formed so initially you have the amount of acetic acid 0.1 the amount of acetate and hydrogen ion 0 0 now but as time pro uh, progresses some of this acetic acid will break down to form hydrogen ion and acetate ion right some of this acetic acid will break down to form hydrogen ion and acetate ion. Let us say the amount that broke down or that actually left acetic acid to form this and this is X. So we can say to get the total amount that will be remaining at equilibrium, it will now be 0.1 minus what? X. Why? Because X actually left to form this and this, right? Initially, this one was zero. So this one will now be plus X. This one will now be what? Plus S. It's more like you have Gary, right? You want to transfer some of the gary to this bowl and to this bowl in such a way that any amount you transfer from here is entering into here and here at the same time. Are you getting it? Just take it like that. Don't be like, ah, if you transfer here, it, you, when you come here to be half up, mm -mm, don't take it like that. Just take it that any amount you transfer, if we transfer 10 gram from here, 10 gram of gary, 10 gram will be here, 10 gram will be here. Now, at the initial time, let's say you have 20 gram, right? Which is our 0 0.1 if you transfer let's say 5 gram from here 5 gram will be here and also 5 gram will come here are you getting it now so it means initially before you start you 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 be before you started the transfer what was the amount here the amount here was zero before then the amount here was what zero but immediately you transfer five it will not be what plus what five plus five now that five that you transferred from here to get the amount that will be remaining after transfer will now be what 20 minus what five that's what i'm trying to illustrate here so before the equilibrium started or before equilibrium let's say at the initial step of the reaction the amount of acetic acid here was 0 0.1 but as the reaction progresses as in x mole of acetic acid actually left and that x mole will be plus here plus here so at equilibrium the amount of acetic acid present will be 0 0.1 minus x the amount of acetate ion present will be X and the amount of hydrogen ion will be what? Will be X. Now, what is our Ka? Told you that Ka has a value of 1.8 times 10 raised to the power of what? Minus 5. So, we'll come here and say 1.8 times 10 raised to the power of minus 5 would be equal to what is the amount of the acetate ion? Is 0.1 minus X. Now, but in most cases, what did we say about weak acid? We say weak acids are those acids that does what? That ionizes partially in water or slightly in solution, right? They ionize slightly in solution. That means the amount that they actually ionize is negligible compared to the total amount. It's just like you have 1 million error 
and then somebody remove 100 naira from the amount is more like very useless as compared to the 1 million naira you have are you getting it now so we can say that this amount that actually left is useless as compared to the amount that is present here so we can say the value of this one here is approximately still 0 0.1 in such a way, let's say 0 0.0003 actually left. If you subtract it from 0 0.1, it will still give you a value that when you approximate, it will still give you what 0 0.1. So instead of us going to solve so many difficult things, because if we put this like this into the equation, you are going to get a quadratic equation. I don't want that. So that's the reason why we can say, okay, we don't want to solve quadratic equations. So let the amount of acetate be still approximately 0 0.1. Which is acetic acid be still approximately 0 0.1 now how about the amount of acetate amount of acetate you don't know it is given by what x the amount of hydrogen ion is what x now divided by that of acetate we say let it be approximately 0 0.1 so this is over one cross multiply this will be 1.8 times 10 raised to the power of minus 5 times 0 0.1 right times s i mean equal to s square when this multiplied this become 1.8 times 10 raised to the power of minus 6 is equal to what s square now to find x divide both side i mean find the square root of both side x will be equal to 1.34 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 so that is our value for x 1.34 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 but note that x is the concentration of what hydrogen ion and the concentration of acetate ion so we can say the concentration of hydrogen ion is what 1.34 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 but then they say you should calculate the word the ph of acetic acid what is ph we are taught that ph is negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration so our ph now will be negative log what is the hydrogen ion concentration 1.34 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 and then your ph will be equal to when you punch this in your calculator i think this is going to give us 2.87 so the ph is 2.87 as opposed to um that is the ph 2.87 and that is the correct answer to this question so that is basically how you can go about solving any question like this given to you it's very easy to understand first of all note the amount that was given to you 0 0.1 note that at the initial point the amount that of acetate form when the reaction or when it has not started dissociating is what uh zero zero but at equilibrium a substantial amount let's say x amount must have what dissociated so to get the amount of this that is remaining after dissociation you say 0 0.1 minus s then the amount of this that will be formed will be what 0 plus what x 0 plus x which will give us x s and the 0 0.1 minus 1 minus s of course we said the value of x is too small you can see the value of s here is very very small just imagine you are subtracting this from 0 0.1 let's say this is 0 0.0034 if you are subtracting it from 0 0.1 it's very very negligible just press your calculator 1 minus 0 0.00 that is 0 0.996 so it's still approximately what 0 0.9 0 i mean it's approximately um 0 0.1 all right so that is the reason why we said instead of us to put this minus s because when you put the minus s it will now make your work very very hard to solve we say let us still approximately to what to 0 0.1 as opposed to putting in this value when you put in your value you now calculate your what x you said that the x is still the same thing as what h plus because we said x is h plus and s is still the same as the acetate ion so to calculate for h plus we say h plus is what 1.34 times 10 to the power of 1 minus 3 the ph is negative logarithm of h plus you put your ph there and then you get your um you put your h plus there and then you get your value for your ph is that okay so we have that now let's see this one estimate the addition of 0 0.02 molar 2 mole of hydrozonium ion from acl on the ph of 1.0 mole I mean 1.0 liter of 0 0.1 molar acetic acid all right now one way i love to solve this is still the same thing that we just did now the ka of acetic acid 
may not be given to you. So you should know it. That the k is 1.8 times 10 raised to the power of minus 5. Now, write the equation of reaction. This is acetic acid. This is your exam question. It will dissociate to give us something like this plus what? H plus. According to what we said, 0.1 molar B. So we have 0.1. Here will be 0 at first, 0. But as time progresses, here will become minus X. Here will become plus X. Here will become plus X at equilibrium. And everything will be 0.1 minus X. Here will be X. Here will be X. And then we say Ka as the formula of CH3COO negative H plus divided by what? CH3 COOH. Now put in your value. Ka will be equals to told you that whatever you have there is what s times x divided by told you that this value here you can approximate it to be what this 0.1 so this will be 0.1 all right where's your ka 1.8 times 10 minus 5 this is still the same thing with what we've solved before 0.1 such a way that s square will be 0.1 plus um, 1.8 times 10 raised to the power of, I mean, this is multiplied by, right? 1.8 times 10 raised to the power of this, and S square will be equal to 1.8 um, 1 supposed to be 1.8 times 10 raised to the power of minus 6. In such a way that when you find X, X will give you a value of 1.34 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 mole per liter. All right? Mole per liter. Now, if you add 0 0.020 mole of hydrozonium ion to it, what do you think will happen to the pH? Recall that the pH we calculated before was 2.87 mole i mean 2.87 now if you add hydrozonium ion to it what are you adding to it you are adding more of acid so what do you think will happen to the ph the ph will tend towards what acidity true or false it's true it tends towards what acidity now you are adding 0 0.02 mole of hydrozonium ion now one thing we would love to do is to convert this to liter right so i can actually erase everything that we have here convert this to mole rather than. but it will still be the same thing do you know why because you have the concentration up currently the concentration of hydrogen ion to be 1.34 that is the value of s now we say value of s is in as condition of hydrogen ion 1.34 times 10 to the power of what minus 3 mole per liter now you have to convert this to mole because the value they gave to you was 0 0.02 mole so to convert this to mole per liter it means for every one liter you have this are you getting it now we have 1.34 times 10 to the power minus 3 mole so we can say approximately the amount of mole that you have there is 1.34 times 10 raised to the power of what minus 3 mole for every one later now but this amount here they didn't tell you the amount the volume of the hydrozonium ion that is here but most times the volume of hydrozonium ion is often negligible the volume of hydrozonium ion is often what negligible so what you add most times the volume is they just neglect it so when you add this plus this is going to give us 0 0.020 per what per mole when you add everything here, what is that going to give to you? It's going to give us, I say per mole, per liter rather. Because I told you that the volume is what? It's negligible. So it means even when you add this hydrozonium ion, it will still remain how many liter? One liter. Are you getting it? We still take it as one liter. So this is 1.34 times 10 to the power of what? Minus 3 plus... Plus 0 
0.20 this will give us 0 0.02134 mole per liter right or molar solution you can say mole per liter or you can say this is 0 0.02134 molar solution all right now to get your ph now the new ph record that the initial ph without addition of ironium ion was what was 2.87 that was what we calculated earlier right now the new ph will now be negative log reading because this is now like your new concentration of what the hydrogen hydrogen ion why because this hydronium ion you add what you are actually adding you are adding more of what h plus the hydronium ion you are adding you are actually adding more of what h plus is that okay you are adding more of h plus now so at the end of the day this become minus log um yeah minus log then you have 0 0.02134 now when you punch this your calculator it's going to give you a value what do you think that value will be minus log 0 0.02134 1.67 so you see that the ph has reduced from 2.87 to what 1.67 do you understand the concepts now so the first one you did was to calculate the initial ph then after that one the next thing now is you want to calculate what happens when 0 0.020 mole of hydronium uh, ion is added to this concentration that was there before are you getting it now that was what we just did is added to the concentration that was there before that we increase it to around 0 0.02134 mole per what per liter is that okay and then when you calculate the value now it's now giving you 1.67 is that fine all right so that is that for this question let's see the next one the next one says estimate the addition of 0 0.020 mole of ironium ion from acl on the ph of 1.0 liter of a buffer containing this and that now because it's a buffer now this is what will happen you have this acetic acid this acetic acid when it dissociates is going to give us ch3coo negative plus what h plus of course you know that this ch3coona right is the same thing as what you have here because this is like the salt of the acid is the same thing just that they remove the word na positive so that is the reason why the negative now is now showing here so you have something like this reacting with uh, to give this and this now of course from what we know the concentrations we are given what we had the initial concentration of this initial concentration of this was given as 0 0.15 molar solution how about this the concentration of this was given as 0 point also 15 now you have to convert this to mole and mole right of course you know we are talking about one liter so it means even if it's 0 0.15 mole molar solution in lit uh if you want to convert it from molar solution to mole it will still be the same are you getting it now because this molar solution it means mole per liter so if the liter is one liter anything you divide by one liter will still give you the same thing that's what i mean so it means at the end of the day whenever you see 0 0.0 0 0.15 molar solution since the liter is still one liter anything you divide because the expression for molar solution is mole per liter it means whenever you divide this mole by one liter it will still give you the same word amount just like you have something like this molar, molar solution is 0 0.15 is equals to you are looking for the mole divided by what of course the total is one liter so at the end of the day mole will still be 0 0.15 times what one liter 
and that will still give you what 0 0.15 so so long the meter is one liter the number of moles is equal to the what the molarity given so it means if i write 0 0.15 mole here i'm also very very correct are you getting it now so this will be that now listen and this concentration of h plus was not given now this is the buffer that you formed now they now told you that you now added 0 0.020 mole of hydronium ion that means you added something here 0 0.02 mole of hydronium ion according to Le Chatelier's principle what does it say it states that whenever you have something like this what are you going to do the this one the, because you increase the concentration at the left at the right hand side it's going to force this one to what to react to form more of this i know most of you really do not understand what the chatelized principle is talking about but just understand the concept i'm trying to say trying to uh, explain here what we mean is that if you are adding hydronium ion it means you are increasing the concentration of h plus that means you are adding 0 0.02 mole to what h plus and if you are increasing the concentration of h plus it means it will force this one to react to form more of this because this thing is in equilibrium it's more like everything is equal if you now add this it means the amount here is now increasing do you understand and if the amount here is increasing it means for it to be in equilibrium again you have to transfer some to here let's say initially everything we had 10 10 you now added two the amount here is now how many 12 to make it equal again you transfer one to here are you getting it now that's what we are going to do here now but that transfer will actually affect this person let me use this to make an illustration for you let's say you are in a house you have an excess of 2k in your house and let's say your roommate here has 15k you you have an excess of what or let's say you and your roommate have 15k 15k now somebody can go give you extra 2k now you won't bring this extra 2k mona te cook you call the tell you, you um, remember say your 15k still deal you won't bring this extra 2k te cook right and your roommate have to bring the same amount because you don't get your roommate have to bring the same amount so that you can make this food here recall that yours is extra person that should not be your main 15k now you touch now because you are taking from your extra this person and should count for your own money that means the amount here for this person will come reduce by 13k are you getting it then on our conform the product or the food one and i won't cook the same thing is happening here now because hydrogenium ion is in excess what will happen is it's in excess by how many by 0 0.020 mole so what will happen is that you have to subtract that amount from here why because it will force this one to react with it to give us more of this so you have to subtract that amount that is in excess from this one and then you add that amount to this one here is that okay so at the end of the day what are you now going to form you are going to form of course uh the concentration of this now will not be let's write it out that of this one will not be 0 0.15 plus 0 0.020 which is equal to which is equal to 0 0.17 okay and that of acetic acid would be 0 0.15 minus 0 0.020 which will be 0 0.13 exactly now what we are not going to do mole what we are not going to do now is to calculate the um ka using the same formula we've used before we say k is the what concentration of what this right um yeah the concentration of this ch3 coo and coo now but this time you are not no longer going to put coo negative because i told you that this coo negative c is in now c i mean ch3 coo na they remove this na that is why it's negative here yeah. so you have na and then you have what h plus divided by what divided by the concentration 
of CH3COOH. Now, you want to calculate H plus, right? So, what we are going to do is to put in the value for K. A K is 1.8 times 10 to the power minus 5 is equal. So, what is the concentration of this? This is, that is this one here. What is the concentration for this one? It's 0 0.13 times. You are looking for the concentration of H plus. You don't know it. Divided by, what is the concentration of CO3? And that one will give us what? 0 0.17. All right. So what I'm going to do now is to erase this side. Right. So what you are going to get will be 1.8 times 10 raised to the power of minus 5 is equal to. First of all, you have to cross multiply here. Right. So this will give us times. 0 0.17 is equals to 0 0.13 times h plus right so that at the end of the day you divide both sides by 0 0.13 0 0.13 this cancel this your h plus will be equal to simplify everything here what would that give to you you have bracket 1.85 times 10 to the power of minus 5 times 0 0.17 divided by 0 0.13 that will give us 2.419 times 10 raised to the power of minus 5 all right now at the end of the day what do you think you are going to get you are going to get um right now you are going to get to get your uh ph what do you say is the formula for ph negative logarithm of h plus rb exactly so your ph will now be negative log and then you are going to have the value here which is 2.419 times 10 raised to the power of minus 5 negative logarithm of h plus that is your ph so what do you think the ph will be the ph will be negative let me press log 2.419 times 10 to the power of minus 5 which is 4.6 so you see that there was no noticeable change in the ph normally from hadassin hezebach equation we say ph is what pka plus log of what ha over what a negative something like this abby exactly now when the concentration of ha and a negative is the same means this one will strike at to give us what zero because if the concentration of this here and this here is the same that means they will cancel out and when they cancel out they will give us one log one will give us what zero right so everything here will give us zero so whenever concentration of the uh acid and base or the acid and the sort of that acid is the same your ph is always equals to pka right now, the pKa for acetic acid is around 4.76, right? So, it means at this point, initially, without the addition of 0 0.02 mole of hydronium ion, initially, you see the concentration of this acetic acid and the sort of the acetic acid is the same. So, initially, the pH is also equal to what to be what? The pKa, which is 4.76. Is that okay? At that point, where they've not added this amount, the pH is equal to pKa. Why? Because their concentrations are what? The same. But because of the addition of this amount of the acid, it will reduce the pH a little, but the, the, the reduction is not that noticeable. You see, for 4.76 to 4.6, almost that is the activity of pH. What does pH do? You say pH reduces the what? What do you say pH do? You say pH actually what? It resists a change. I mean, buffer rather, my dear. 
We say buffer actually what it resists the change in what the pH of a medium. So that is that for this particular one. Thank you very much for your time. See you in the next one.